scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Oh, someone is ready to shake. The devil will make you focus on the Egyptians. Focus on chariots. As though God were not with you. He said, wait, hold on, hold on. Look up, please. Please settle down, look at me. The only way to see horses and chariots is when you go out to battle, not when you stay in. The courage to even go out is why you will see adversaries. Can I tell you, there are people who it looks like they don't have challenges. It's not that the devil is not attacking them is that they themselves have not even taken the first step of courage to their destiny. They are, how did you know there are altars fighting you? Is it not when you made a commitment that I will be different? The altars had you. They said, we stopped your father. We stopped your grandmother. Who is this man who is rising like a reed taken out of fire? when you go out to battle it is not unusual to find forces that are greater than you no that sickness in your body those bills you stand and you make up your mind that everybody lived in a rented apartment forever but in the name of jesus i will build and you ask how much can i buy a house and they tell you 30 million and you check your account and see that you have 4,000. You laugh at yourself feeling like a fool. Remember, the jealousy of God is standing by you to defend you. Please sit down. And it shall be when ye are come nigh unto the battle. He said the priest shall approach and speak to the people. We are reading to four. And shall say unto them, Hear, O covenant people, ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies. Let not your hearts faint. Fear not, and do not tremble, neither be ye terrified of them. Why? Verse 4. For the Lord your God is he that goeth before you to fight for you against your enemies and save you can i tell you ask any man of god that you respect ask your man of god coming here look look let me tell you the stories of men are the exploits of courage in the midst of pain There are people today, they were told they would not survive certain things. They refused that I would not die. They saw death again and again. I have a choice. But I've made up my mind. No way. There are people who refuse. When one door closes, they don't have time mourning. They force another one to open. Listen. We live in a world where people find pleasure justifying mediocrity. And they sit down there and use very justifiable reasons to remain there. They destroyed our house in 2007 
that's why i don't have a house till now it looks like an obvious answer but it's not the right one please listen carefully god is speaking to us test number one is the test of courage someone shout and say in the name of jesus i conquer fear the fear of opinions the fear of failure the fear of the past the fear of the future turn it into prayer right now turn it into prayer right now in the name of jesus i conquer fear i conquer fear fear over my tomorrow fear over my destiny the lord is with me standing by me like a mighty terrible one in the name of jesus in the name of jesus deuteronomy 31 let's hurry up please sit down someone's spirit is firing up this night deuteronomy 31 from verse 6 to 8 listen by the time i'm done teaching you believe me a grace will come on your life this night you will walk out of this place knowing that you encountered the grace of god in reality be strong and of a good courage fear not nor be afraid of them for the lord thy god he it is that god goeth with you he will not fail thee nor forsake thee verse 7 we are reading to 8 and moses called out joshua and said unto him in the sight of all israel be strong and of good courage for thou must go with this people unto the land which the lord has sworn unto their fathers to give them and thou shalt cause them to inherit it verse 8 and the lord he it is that goeth before you he will be with you and he will not fail thee neither forsake thee fear not neither be dismayed please look up whenever god speaks to you about your future god does not talk to men like he's talking to men god talks to men like he's talking to himself one of the ways you will know is God speaking is because when God gives you a destiny instruction he will even start by saying fear not because the size of what he will tell you there is no logic and no you will feel stupid for believing in him there are many times you will regret training your ears to hear God because the excuse you would have used now you can't say it's not him that spoke to you that God speaks to you and tells you in your lifetime, I will use you to build a house for all your 13 brothers. And he said, God, don't flatter me. Just tell me I will succeed. I will pay my school fees. As at the time God is speaking, you are hoping you are still 20% gathering the money for your rent. I told you that God does not speak sympathizing with your current situation. He speaks as touching your destiny. When he finds you hiding, he does not say, oh, thou hiding one. He says, oh, thou man of valor. The same way God is seeing someone who is weak and saying, oh, thou prophet. Do you not know that that grace and that unction of the prophetic is on you? And you are saying, God, don't flatter me. The prophetic, nobody, everybody was an idol worship by my family. The test of courage. Whoever is fearful, go back. 22,000 people sir went back let's continue judges 6 and judges 7 now verse 4 are you ready so the first test is the test of courage Maybe I should add two or three, two scriptures just to buttress on the issue of courage. Second Timothy one and verse seven, very popular scripture. Second Timothy one and verse seven. Before we look at the second test, for God had not given Joshua Selman the spirit of fear. That means fear is a gift. Look up. Look at me. Uh -huh. 
that when you find fear at work in you you received it anything given can be rejected is that true the bible said god has not given that means someone else gave it god has not given us the spirit of fear look how powerful fear is it takes three spiritual forces to dislodge fear power love and a sound mind don't downplay fear fear is the spirit that foreruns every other spirit every other spirit stands waiting for fear to open a door no spirit will enter a door that fear has not opened did you hear what i said every spirit is at the mercy of fear they wait patiently for fear to open that door then every other spirit can come god has not given us the spirit of fear let me tell you your destiny will require courage you will stand face to face before mountains you will stand face to face before some of you life-threatening issues maybe some of you are already even standing in front of those things who are down mountain you should say before Zerubbabel when that beast was roaring six fingers and six toes even the veterans of war in Israel became afraid and a young teenager who came to serve his brother's food he heard the voice of that beast and he went and stood there and he said what is happening who is this they said Goliath Goliath and he looked at him he said please give me a chance to do something to this man he went to Saul the brothers drove him and said go back before he kills you for nothing and he went to King Saul and Saul said from what tribe I want to know the covenant that backs you that's all I need to know when he stood before him with a sling Goliath said am I a dog I will kill you but respect me you must be such a stupid boy you come to me with a sling look at your warriors you've been you've been a shepherd with sheep your veterans are afraid and when he was done talking you would think that David would kneel down and say I'm sorry I'm just a teenager David said let me even tell you how you will die this link will bring you down your very sword is what I will use to remove your head ah goodness courage can I tell you this? Some of you, after this conference, you may not have money to buy sharp sand, but go and stand where that land is. <laughs> Hear me. You may not have a ministry now and nobody is placing a demand on you, but go to the bush where your audience is. Stand there and hold a stick and begin to preach like I did many years ago and decree and declare by the spirit sense the anointing there train your gifts in the bush train your anointing right there because sooner or later the one who is a way maker will make the way for you can I tell you this fear puts men in bondage Hebrews 2.15, I believe. And to deliver them who through the fear of death. 2.15 Hebrews. Where all their lifetime. That means fear can capture a man's lifetime. Do you know what a lifetime is? From when you were born till when you die. Fear can literally possess a man's lifetime. Not just moments in your destiny. A whole lifetime. courageous people are those who win in our world today those who are overly conscious of what people say I made a statement who liked it who commended it you, you are ready for failure forever there are times you will have to stand alone can I tell you something you see the ways of God does not always show the wisdom behind it immediately there are times that you will look foolish for 10 years is the 11th year that will show you were wise for 11 years but the courage to stay when Noah was shouting and saying rain is coming hear me rain is coming 
for 120 years he was shouting they laughed at him he said i'm giving you a chance all the animals were wise they didn't argue as soon as they got the call in peace seven by seven two by two the animals who could run faster than men who could climb trees who were even more technical they quietly came and all the men who were helpless they stood there arguing it was god who closed the door and the bible says the rain was structured such that heaven gave its own rain earth gave its own rain what whoever it meets in the middle and that was where it killed everybody can i tell you this most of us in our world will never be great because of the fear of being alone there are people who will leave god a thousand times to gain friends there are people who will abort their destiny a thousand times because of acceptance our our generation has such an obsession for acceptance don't get me wrong acceptance is one of the psychological indices that make for fulfillment i understand but let me tell you sincerely if it is destiny there are many times is at the end that the vision speaks but you don't start building at the end you start building alone foolishly sometimes and as your wisdom unfolds god now honors you once upon a time in this lagos there were people who were tying water is that true water like what you call pure water today they were tying it in a leather you see remember and someone looked and said no water is an essential we can package this in in a in a more intelligent way do you know the risk it took what if they failed question did they fail the man who builds a hotel with 130 rooms question who signed that i will come and sleep in your hotel the pastor who buys a land and builds a church did anybody sign a covenant with him that i'll guarantee you midweek i'm there church service i am there somebody say courage my dear worshipers when you write your songs does anybody give you any guarantee that i will come and sing everything you are celebrating today is the other side of courage the other side of courage the other side of courage seven up you know seven up that you take i'm sure you know how the name seven up came seven up just means six down seven up the man failed six times woefully he named that product after his results today you drink it but behind what you are drinking is the pain of a man look at me i always wondered why god through the prophet would tell naaman to go and bath seven times god you are mighty what is seven i later found out that is there is something about the law of process that was taught in that miracle do you know that after naaman took his bath six times you thought there would be evidence of cure to encourage him he was still as dirty and scaly and as tattered as that five minutes to your miracle it will still not look like it this is the thing about god that you have to understand <laughs> can i tell you this go and ask elijah he prayed and said check for me nothing prayed and said check for me nothing seven times even the sixth time nothing the same way you are seated today you don't know it's tomorrow that prophecy has written that you will be smiling as it is right now nothing is in your life ah. my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by the prophet said by this time tomorrow you thought a cloud would suddenly start moving and the nation of israel said wow a cloud is forming after the prophet spoke i'm sure even him he went back and said god i've spoken don't let these people kill me a woman that can eat her child is it a prophet she will not eat
by the next day everybody woke up where is that stupid prophet playing with our intelligence in the name of the Lord you said today this is that day they forgot it was God that made the day four lepers why sit we here and die let's go and die in the place where there is plenty there's a lesson there it's better to die in a place of supply than to run away out of fear the, the guys were wise they said anyway we are going to die so it's wiser and cheaper and when they took that step of faith the Lord amplified them and it was like the sound of chariots and they said ah Samaria has now gathered allies to come and fight us when they got there all they saw was supplies can I tell you this someone by this teaching you are receiving the courage to do something that four years ago you wrote it God told you start you've been afraid and sitting there go and register the company oh God you know the way Nigeria is now I'm waiting until my uncle he said he's contesting for election woe to him who puts his strength in a man if God gives you the marching order sustain the courage and the grace to go can I tell you sometimes you will fail obeying God oh I wish you would not there are times you will fail obeying God when you fail obeying God allow the one who takes the glory to also take the shame you've always heard me say this if you are the one taking the shame you have been taking the glory too it's a deal whoever takes when you say God take everything you mean take both the glory and the shame if on account of my hearing you this shame comes upon me take responsibility for my obedience please sit down let me give us the last test <laughs> the price for new dimensions price number one is the price of courage unbending resoluteness that is not outsourced but generated Lord I know you have spoken to me that from this family where no one has risen that you are going to lift me and the nations will celebrate your workings upon my life I believe what is the next step start moving to where keep moving do you believe I am God? Keep moving. To where? To Lagos. Lord, I am in Lagos. What is the next step? Trust me. What kind of answer is that? And all your classmates call you and say, Oh, is it your picture I saw in NMPC? You say, For where? I'm still here. I'm in Lagos. And they say, But you too, you know, some of you, sometimes you can be very stupid and you just stand and say, Lord, everybody may seem to have moved forward. Maybe that's someone's testimony now. God just locked you up and all you are doing is praying and fasting, praying and fasting, studying scripture, praying and fasting, reading books, praying and fasting, praying and fasting, and then learning materials. You know so much, but the platform to put it to work is not there. God is doing something with you. Let me warn you, if God says, wait, wait, every time you rush seasons you will always give birth to the ishmael that will fight isaac god is a god of speed but god does not rush two days to your breakthrough satan can bring an offer in one day that can make you birth ishmael and forever you will have to live with that battle part of the way we gain speed is by waiting it's a mystery that when we wait we truly run is someone learning obtain courage do not fear refuse fear when angels appear they tell men fear not it is for a reason test number two judges seven four hmm. are you ready for the second test now this one in fact if you did not get anything i shared here please don't forget this this 
is a life-changing secret that I want to share with you now. You will thank your man of God for the rest of your life if you get what I'm showing you now. And the Lord said unto Gideon, the people are yet too many. The first test reduced them, but there are still 10,000 others. He said, bring them unto the water and I will try them for you there. Listen carefully. And it shall be that of whom I say to you, this is the one who goes with you from that test, then he shall go with you. What is the test? Verse 5. Please give us verse 5. So he brought the people onto the water. Are you ready now? And the Lord said to Gideon, they are going to approach their interaction with this water in two ways. Study them and use their encounter with this water to filter them. Everyone that lapped on the water with his tongue as a dog lapped, him shall thou set by himself. Likewise, everyone that bowed down upon his knees to drink. Look up. Let me teach you a mystery here. Do you know what this means? Don't forget that when he called them, they came out of their homes. They had started walking. Some of them returned. That means everybody had left home. Their energy had been spent. Are you getting the point now? Now he brought them to the place of some level of resolve. And because of the result in the fellowship, no more prayer, no more hearing God. You are now bowing down to drink that water. I'm happy with the 10,000 that is coming. I'm happy with the 30 members. There is no pressing, no fasting, no building. Gideon studied their approach to that which gives them comfort at this level. The assignment of water is to quench your test. When you are a thirsty man who has been walking for a long time, when you see water, you will not know there are other treasures in the war front greater than that water. Is someone getting that now? The second test. You see, let me tell you this. There is, you have to conquer the deception of current success. You, you want to go forward? You must conquer the deception of complacency that comes as a result of your current achievements it is not only failure that kills success kills more than failure many people stop working with god many people deflated their passion for growth their passion to be mentored their passion to learn after all there's results now i've started prophesying it's not very clear but i've started prophesying here and there the anointing has started working it looks like a few members are coming now and god is saying this is only a test gideon study them this test you will not find out immediately it will take time for you to know those who will separate who will be separated and he said anyone have you ever seen a dog settle when a dog is eating it does not eat and lie down and just remain there it's ready to move in fact parts of the body is already moving once it is done it moves to what it was doing before that temporary success it says those who lap they are still on their feet they are just fetching it my feet my instrument of motion is still in place but those who bow down upon their knees to bow down means to make it Lord over you. You have made the success Lord over you. You have made the little exposure consume you such that you've forgotten that you were on a mission. Is someone learning now? At the same time. Hear me. I'm telling you why you see people gaining momentum, doing certain things, and at a point you will know that this preacher he's not backsliding but he has plateaued there's nothing else to learn from him and can i tell you this generation is very unforgiving over exhaustion the moment they they discern that you have you have rounded up your syllables they will respect you and build a monument around your your refusal for continuity 
the blueprints he keeps adding and we say lord my desire is to give you glory and he says then i will keep giving you the platform to keep giving me glory please look at me we're wrapping up there are many preachers who have failed this test there are many business people you are a preacher here please don't as much as possible don't miss the the pastor's conference tomorrow by the privilege of God's grace I'll be sharing with you certain keys that will help you tonight's service before you receive is a service of genuine repentance Lord I didn't know that the river you brought me to was only a test the one house you gave me the visa you gave me to tour Europe and when I returned back I said nobody should come and invite me anywhere where they will give me one thousand dollars again oh dear after all i went round believers and all those who are connecting learn a lesson from this it is a real price to watch success and still be on a mission while people clap for you do you know most times when I finish meeting, sincerely I'm telling you, no matter how great and how wonderful the meeting is, most that venue and then ICC and the rates were something else, but ICC, they would not give it for that frequency of programs. And then this one that God brought us by his grace, it was about the biggest auditorium that can be given for, that is not built as a church auditorium not even discussing the price per use you won't believe it and then i sent a delegation to meet the man and the man said no way pentecostal scattered shares they scattered this i invested so much i'm not ready to lose my money for nothing and i said god boy you spoke to me i'm not saying the, i hope you i, I hope the highest royalty i am undone before your glorious majesty shalakata brande kaparatosa de lakata someone pray the test of courage the lord when you speak i will not only listen i will move if i fail let me fail hearing you My soul fear not. My soul fear not over your finances. My soul fear not over your spiritual life. My soul fear not in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear not. He stands behind you like a mighty terrible one. now pray over the second test lord as you lift me take away the influence of my results over my life let it not influence me to a point that i forget you to a point that i stop living by the values that brought me that honor someone lift your voice and cry before your maker let it not be that when you have built houses and your flocks and herds are multiplied that you will say my power and the might of my hand has given me this way but thou shall remember the lord thy god thou shall remember the lord thy god Hallelujah. Hello. 
that scriptures exalt us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.